Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time with Malzahar in the mid lane. And I figured I'd try to complete my placement matches before Azir came out. And this is a ranked game. So, let's go over the line matchups. And by the way, if my coughing gets too bad, I'll probably just start doing post-commentary in certain parts, so... If you hear the sun die off, I'm still talking. Now you know why. Lane matchups are as follows. We have Jinx, partner with Nautilus, Bot against Vayne and Nami. We have Maokai top against Jax. I'm Malzhar in the mid against an ordinary Vagar. Sorry, the Overlord final boss battle will not be today. And I know it's probably as annoying for you guys. We've been denied an epic battle who knows how many times by the time I finally upload this. <sighs> Whatever we're gonna do. And we have Wukong in the jungle against Lee Sin. I don't know what he actually starts with. I never played it. Minions have spawned. That was an odd ward to say the least. Anyway, I'm gonna start with Q. I'm not gonna go over how Melzhar works in depth or anything because you can go to one of my other videos. He's on this channel so much, you guys probably have everything memorized by now. Damn, I'm gonna miss that one. So right now my objective is just hit level 2. He hit it first, so they tried the level 2 gank, but that's a extremely common Vagar strategy, so sadly I'm already familiar with that one. I do need to be careful not to run out of mana. Last hand would also help. And looks like he's gonna live. So the camp is real. You've heard it here first, folks. Going to get an amp tome. May seem like a weird pickup, but I need to push this into Vagar. Right now, Wukong just needs to get to level 6. That's going to time out. Not a very good gank.
So that's going to help considerably. Not to mention all of that. Denied! And I want the boots. Without question. I am going to be rushing a chalice. The advantage of that is going to give me more protection from his poke, more mana regen, ultimately more CDR so that I can just keep up the push. Man, I wasn't paying attention. If I had a hundred gold, I should have picked up a pink ward. I hit level 6 first, that's the end result. Let's see, Mao 28. Oh, crud, cannon wave. Was not paying attention. And the freaking vision's timed out. Oh well, I can stick around. There isn't that much of an item differential between us. And the important thing for this matchup is I don't necessarily have to deny him the last hit so much as the last hit with the Q. this to a chalice. Look at that. And I need a pink ward. Do not challenge will. Like I usually say when I go mid, I play with the intention of never receiving a single blue buff. So not getting one will not impact me the slightest. Our Yordle opponent, on the other hand, may not be able to say the same thing. Precious, precious Voidling. Yeah, 
I don't have cooldowns at the moment. And that was a needless flash, sadly. So, I just have to make Lee regret every single gank he makes. And that'll hopefully put him in his place. I assume Vagar is going to be going for the needlessly large rod with the way he went for a double Durans, and he hasn't bought anything just yet. Killing spree. Bad part about him killing me, of course, at level 8 is he's going to have 4 ranks in Baleful Strike if he knows what he's doing. So that means he got 4 AP off of me, and I didn't see if he killed me with Q or not, so he could have actually picked up 6. Without question. Your team has destroyed the turret. doesn't actually help you too much, does it, Lee? Okay, Vagar showing bot. Still whittling him down. Let's go and get the health pot ticking. Yep, he went right for a needlessly large rock. Crud. And Wukong can do that because he's not going to get blasted by Primordial... Uh, I forgot the name of the move right now, but the Vagar ult, which scales off of his AP and mine. But so far, this is a pretty one-sided game. Is he gonna go on me? It's no fun. Later, Lee.
As annoying as it is to get camped, it's extremely satisfying to pun punish him for doing so. Actually, hold on, I can get to the tier 2 boots. Yeah, I'm expecting a surrender if it just doesn't flat out end. Jax is doing the best at 0 2. Really bad sign. But with the way all the lands got crushed, Lee no longer has any security in his jungle, so there's really nothing going their way. Talking about the smite, if you're not reading the chat logs. Okay, I have enough for a blasting wand. This game, I think, is going to end soon, so I'm not even going to bother with long-term planning. Rylai's, Leandri's would be next ideal items, Void Staff if they're stacking MR. until judgment time. Yeah, if he jumps in, he's not getting back out. Silence is now max ranked. And I don't even see Vagar. Good guy not. Just got Yomu's? Oh, that's disrespect. <laughs> really, really morbid. Ah, he got me in the end. Okay, this is not going to end right away since we're not actually attacking the Nexus. But I can go ahead, never mind. 
So yeah, very, very brief match. Anyway, I'm, I'll post thoughts and observations in the description. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.